right, the moment we have all been waiting for. Let's get to this week in Trumponomics. The Trumpometer has joined us at the desk. Rick Newman, what is the story for the president this week? Congress still not in session, but the phone, his phone, very close by his side. You know, everybody who's watching with the volume down, I mean, the moment they see the Trumpometer, they're running over, right, to click and see what's going to happen. I know it, the suspense. Uh, I think the story this week is China to the rescue. China is now mollifying President Trump and saying... Mm, SAT uh, word, very good. Going, thank you, thank you. I was an English major. Uh, and saying, you know, uh, we're not going to escalate any further. We're going to just let Trump, he can have the last word on this. So he, he, he made the last move uh, with the new tariffs that went up uh, uh, last Friday that, you know, it's the news that sent the market plunging last mm -hmm. Friday. And now China's saying, well, we're not going to do anything more. I think, I actually think this is a false positive. Um, I think I, I think if the markets are interpreting this as a sign that China is going to give in, I think that's completely false. Uh, and there are other things China can do that don't look like escalation, such as uh, they can actually start, start offering more favorable trade um, terms to other trading partners, mm -hmm. uh, say, you know, by saying, for example, uh, giving European companies um, uh, better access to the Chinese market than American firms and things like that. So that's not actually escalation, uh, but that's actually de-escalation with other trading parts. So that, that's just well, one thing they can do. There are other things. And so, I mean, a refrain that we often hear from, you know, various strategists and, and folks, think tank types who come through the shows is, there's a, I, I think there'll be a deal. There's a pathway to a deal. Sure. I, I mean, I just don't find that credible at all, given sort of what has been happening here. I mean, as you see the trade war, um, it kind of feels like it's the same stuff, which means it's just going to be a permanent feature of Trump's presidency. There's a fundamental problem, which is that uh, the Chinese are not going to grant Trump's demands. They're just not going to do right. what he's asking them to do, which is basically remake their economy in a way that makes it look as if they backed down to President Trump. So there are two flaws with the Trump strategy. Uh, one of them, I guess you could say there are three. Tariffs are, are a bad tool. Um, they're asking the Chinese to do things they're not going to do. Uh, and they're doing it in a public way that does not allow the, nor the sort of face saving that you need in negotiations like this. You need to, you need to lead a create a pathway to an outcome where it does look like both sides won something. Mm -hmm. And they can each go back to their constituents back and home say, hey, and say, yeah. look yeah. what I got for us. Um, and Trump has just created, the, he's positioned this in such a way that he's done everything publicly. He calls President Xi of China an enemy of the United States. Uh, and he, he makes his demands public. And I think for that reason, the, the, the best, the only thing Trump can really do is uh, agree to some uh, lesser deal that's cosmetic and doesn't, where he doesn't get what he's asking for. And if, but I think at this point, time is on China's side, not on Trump's, because of the U.S. election. I mean, uh, I think China's just going to dig into its heels the closer we get and uh, say, you know, we're just going to roll our dice. Maybe Trump won't get reelected. Maybe we can even help with that. Nonetheless, uh, this is last week's reading. Uh, failing. failing. We gave Trump a failing grade last week, or the Trumpometer did, because of his escalation. Yep. So this week, we go to wow, he, moves up, he moves up by one notch. Okay. And why? So it's kind of just a. Exactly, why yeah. is it not why better? Is it well, Trump didn't. Trump didn't do any. Trump didn't do anything yeah. uh, to for for, for the outcome this week. It was chi it was China yeah. basically saying, eh, we're going to leave things where they are." Um, we do we do know that Trump was lying about that yeah, phone, say, that phone call. About the phone call? Uh, you know the that, that that by the way is a bizarre new turn of like yeah. you know I bet they won't know. No one will find out. I'll just say we had a phone call. And I'll just now say that it's it. but it also that people are like, all right. I guess we, we kind of Twitter, figured he Twitter, was doing that anyhow. Twitter speculates that Trump got one of those junk marketing calls from somebody peddling <laughs> something in China, and he thought it was President Xi. Yeah. <laughs> Nonetheless, Trump has done nothing. It's actually to just push, Larry Kudlow. Pushes forward, and uh, we're now up to next week is the is the week when these yeah, new tariffs. consumer yeah. tariffs are going to go. Next week, Sunday. Effect, so bring it. It's going to be great. Could next right. week be be a big week. It could be a big week. Uh, trade wars are good and easy to win. Yeah. Never never forget and, that. And so it's the next Monday, September, September like 9th. No, that's when everyone comes back from uh, summer Con vacation. Washington, yeah, D.C.? Congress? Yeah. Uh, oh, I think it. it's the second week in September. Okay. Yeah. Because then we might finally get something no, I, happening, right? Because all we've had, it. all we've had for the last month is just Trump tweeting. That's well, it. we're gonna have, a, we'll have some drama out of Washington. We'll have more name calling, more press conferences. Yeah, that's uh, you know. maybe more hearings on who knows Trump's tax returns or whatever yeah. they're going after. Um, but yeah, they, co they, but Congress has almost they, no. They apologize for that one. No role in the uh, trade war. So yeah. Yet. 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 That's right. Always good to have. You feel, you're exciting. beginning to feel a little affection for it, aren't you? I yes, can, I am. I, tell I was you, worried I wrote it in that, wrote in that maternal, my, maternal way. You're I don't want to write on it with my pen. You feel protective of the Trumpometer. <laughs> I appreciate that. It's a great piece of hardware. <laughs>